In this work, we scale up constraint learning from demonstrations using Gaussian processes. We are given demonstrations of a system, like a quadrotor, which satisfy a complex unknown constraint, like a non-convex obstacle. We visualize such a case on the left, with demonstrations in black and an unknown constraint in blue. We want to learn the unknown constraint from the demonstrations while making minimal structural assumptions, and to use the uncertainty in the learned constraint to plan new trajectories which are constraint satisfying with some probability. Given demonstrations, our method first determines which states on the demonstrations are tight, that is, that are touching the constraint boundary. Next, our method identifies the gradient of the constraint at these time steps. We then use this data on the value and the gradient of the constraint to train a GP which is consistent with and which generalizes this information. Finally, we exploit structure in the learned GP to design a GP-based chance constraint planner. Our planner then outputs a trajectory which is safe with a specified probability. We evaluate our approach on a 12D quadrotor. We are given 25 demonstrations, avoiding a non-convex obstacle to be learned, and we assume no prior knowledge on its structure. Our method recovers a constraint which is highly faithful to the ground truth obstacle with minimal misclassification errors. Moreover, due to this accuracy, using our planner to compute plans which are safe with probability 0.9 returns plans that are safe for the true constraint. These plans are visualized in gold on the left. In contrast, previous constraint learning methods, which approximate unknown constraints as unions of boxes, fail to accurately recover the constraint. We show that in addition to our GP-based method being able to learn a broader class of constraints with minimal prior knowledge, it is also able to perform well on problems that previous approaches excelled at. Here, we learn an obstacle represented as a union of two boxes to be learned from 24 short demonstrations on the quadrotor. When given the parameterization, previous constraint learning approaches can learn the constraint exactly. In our setting, we show that despite not being given the parameterization, our method still recovers a constraint shown in the middle, which is highly faithful to the ground truth obstacle, with minimal misclassification errors as shown on the right and in the numerical results. The largest source of error is from the box being partially hollow, but such inaccuracy is inevitable as no training data can be collected inside the obstacle. Finally, we evaluate our approach on a three-link planar arm, avoiding a non-convex obstacle, shown here on the left. We aim to learn the corresponding three-dimensional C-space constraint, which is also highly non-convex, shown on the right. We are given 50 demonstrations planning in this environment, and we assume no prior knowledge on the constraint structure. Here are a few of these demonstrations. As shown in the middle, our GP recovers constraint which is highly faithful to the ground truth obstacle, shown on the left, achieving minimal misclassification errors, as shown on the right. In planning with the learned constraint with safety probability at least 0.9, we are able to generate plans which are safe in practice for the true constraint. And again, baseline constraint learning methods, which represent the constraint as a union of boxes, fail to accurately recover the constraint due to poor computational scaling. We conclude with a summary of our work. Thanks for your attention.